To grow older is truly a gift. It is a gift of time. When the psalmist said God knows every day that is ordained for us when not one of them existed according to Psalm 139, it meant God has a purpose and it is our gift to God to find that purpose and fulfill it. For Captain Dr. Idahosa Wells Okumbo, owner of Wells Sam Carlos Farms, which at takeoff provided 25,000 direct and 60,000 indirect jobs back in 2016, Captain Osa said, this is what I call my vision, what I call my legacy, something that has been in my dreams for some time. I have been nurturing it, working on it for over five years. We have just started. This is very important to me because at my very young age, as a pilot, I conquered my profession at the age of 30 and I left. I went into business and by the grace of God, I have done well. With over 60 vessels in the sea, I think I have conquered the sea. And coming to land, I said that before the land takes me, I want to conquer the land. I have started with 20 hectares greenhouse at the bypass in Belize Edo State. These were his words at setting up his farm to make food abundant for humanity, particularly Edolites of Edo people's benefit at home and diaspora by extension. Born 7th January 1958 in Benicity, or Edo local government area of Edo State, Nigeria, to the family of a clergy reverend. Robert Amos Okumbo, Captain Idahosa Wells Okumbo attended his basic education at Government Primary School in Benicity, Edo State, Nigeria. In 1971, he enrolled at the Federal Government College, Wari Delta State, where he earned his West African Senior School Certificate. He became a commercial pilot at 21 after graduating from Nigerian Civil Aviation Training Center, Zaria, Kaduna State. In 1983, he obtained an airline transport pilot license from the APME School of Aeronautics in Fort Worth, Texas, United States of America. As a commercial pilot, Hosa worked for Intercontinental Airlines and Okada Airlines. He was made a captain in 1983 while he was still 25 years old and retired five years later. They mostly referred to as Captain Hosa. He registered his first company, Hosling Ventures Nigeria Limited, in 1986 and moved into business in 1988. Through his company, Hosling Technologies Nigeria Limited, one of the first indigenous companies to carry out engineering procurement and construction, the EPCI, and was able to complete and commission the early production facility for Nigeria Petroleum Development Company, MPDC, at Ajaoki in Edo State in 2001. His company, OMS Tankers Limited, has supported in raising the level of oil production in Nigeria and its sustenance by providing dedicated and efficient security solutions for offshore production assets of the major international oil companies operating in the country. He is also the chairman and or director of CMEA OMS Venture a service provider in the oil and gas industry and many others for which he remained a success. He was a pride of Edo and the Beni people as he often described himself, I am from the Beni stock. An astute lover of his culture and tradition and a very strong ally and supporter of the royal institution, the palace of the Oba of Benin and a very bosom friend and son to His Royal Majesty Omonobanedo Ukuakbolokbolo Oba Eware the Second Nogidiga. Captain Daosa Wells Okumbo was married to his beautiful bride, Mrs. Nosa Okumbo. He was blessed with a total of 11 children, including Mrs. Ivie Uhunoma Emikwa Tuashe III, the Olori of Wari Kingdom, wife to the current 21st Olu of Wari Kingdom Prince, Shola Ebiko Atuashe III. A man of revered honor, Captain Hosa Wells Okumbo was decorated with very many prestigious multiple awards at home and around the world. 
In 2012, the American Congress honored Captain Hosa with the African Titan Award for being a voice of the Niger Delta people through his movie Black November. The University of Benin also honored him with a doctorate degree in November 2012 in recognition of his community service and achievement as an outstanding entrepreneur. In March 2016, Dr. Okumbo was granted the Worthy Ambassador of Unity Award as an old student of the Federal Government College, Wari Delta State. On October 2, 2014, the traditional ruler of the Edo people in Edo State, Obae Diawa, honored him with the traditional beats for being a worthy son of his hometown. In early 2020, Captain Hosa Wells was recognized by NAPTIP by committing personal resources to the fight against the illicit business of human trafficking and illegal migration by empowering victims of human trafficking and supporting NAPTIP to mark the 2019 World Day Against Human Trafficking. On Saturday, 21st September 2019, in Geneva, Switzerland, Okumbo was bestowed with the Global Peace Award from the Chairman of the Order of Lafayette Awards. This was in recognition of his efforts in global peace and business innovations. In September 2020, the billionaire philanthropist and key investor in marine security won American Forbes Best of Africa Award as one of the outstanding leaders in Africa. He will be remembered for his generosity to the human race generally as he was blind to color, race, sex, religion, etc. but very often and a benefactor to all, giving and practiced the tenets of equal opportunity in the family, community, business, social life, and other workplace. A philanthropist for excellence, a global and successful business magnate, a pilot, humanitarian, peaceful, calm personality with broad smiles, one who loves to sing and dance, a selfless giver, kind to afford or must to afford, and above all, a very strong prayer for Christian and lover of God. Captain Dr. Idahosa Wells Okumbo passed on on the 8th of August 2021 at a very, very young age of 63 in a London hospital following a long battle with pancreatic cancer. May his great, gentle and beautiful soul be reposed in his maker. In Jesus' name, Amen. Adieu, Capito. Capi has been the call by very many. This is coming to you, Kelly, the New World Television. Bye, darling.